What's up there? This is Mr. Mike Kaufman. In this tutorial, I will show you how to personalize the settings in the Chrome extension Waste No Time. So if you're unfamiliar, Waste No Time is a Chrome extension that allows you to regulate and to track how much time you're spending on certain sites. Now, this is really helpful to keep you on track and not distracted by uh, certain websites that might eat up all of your time. Um, so for example, myself, I'm partially, actually, I'm a full YouTube addict. I will fall down the rabbit hole of YouTube in a second. So that's definitely a site that I add to it and give myself a certain time limit during work hours. All right, and I'll show you how to do all that right now. All right, so I have Chrome open and I am signed in. And then from there, I'm going to go up to the extension, waste no time, and I'm going to click on it and then click settings. All right, so the first thing it shows you is the block list, right? These are the sites that are going to be blocked once you reach your uh, time limit. Now, if I want to change that, for example, I can go down to edit settings, and I might say to myself, well, you know what? I don't really ever use dig.com. I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest. I can remove the site, and then I can add it right here. So, for example, right, if I want to do youtube.com and then add blocked sites. Right, so now I've got YouTube added. And then before I move on, I'm going to click Apply Settings. So you really want to think to yourself what sites are really tempting to you, what sites, um, what sites waste your time. All right, so from there, click Apply Settings. Now, something else that you might want to take a look at is the Allow List. Right, are there any sites that you want to be allowed regardless of the block time list? Right, any sites that you want um, exempt? Right, so that's an option right there. Now the next thing you want to pay attention to is the time allowed. And again, I'm going to go down to edit settings and talk about some of our different options here. You can use a time range, which I find helpful. All right, so for example, maybe you just want to block the site during your defined working hours. Now you can adjust this. So if you are a student and your prime working hours are after school per se, you might say, you know, when I'm really distracted is from three right until I don't know 10 p.m. right if you are working all the time you can also just do no time ranges now you from here you can then deselect or select which days you want it to hold true right so for example if you want to have Saturday be your just free day of binge watching and and binge social media you can uncheck Saturday so forth and now you can also then allow your um, time limit all right, so let's say 30 minutes is a healthy number, you can leave it, but if you're someone that says 30 minutes is still too much, I'm, my schedule is packed, you can make it 15 or 20. And then what I love about this is it also gives you the outside of work hours as well, right? So even on those days where maybe you don't have anything to do, you can still limit yourself to say, you know, 120 minutes or 60 minutes, and that way, you know, you can uh, not get stuck again down the rabbit hole of YouTube, for example. And then don't forget to apply settings. Now some advanced settings here is talking about when something comes idle and so forth. Um, you can click there and go to edit settings. Now here's some cool things here. It's also going to track the time you spend on certain websites, which is helpful for self-monitoring, um, really to figure out where you are spending most of your time. And so you can track time on any site, on the block sites or whatever. You can check idle detection, so what point you know, should the computer stop um, counting your time? For example, if you walk away and your computer's still open, right, right now it's set as a minute. So for a minute, it will keep track of that time and count it against you. But after that minute, it will recognize that you're idle. All right, the challenge. So of course, right, you can always go in after a website is blocked and go in and change the settings and get right back to that website, right? What this does is an extra challenge, gives you an extra step. So for example, before you unblock a site that you really aren't supposed to go to, but you want to anyway, you can do a randomly generated string or a specific password. And again, it's just one more step to help you sort of control that urge to unblock your site. Now, the last thing I want to show you is time tracker, right? So this is going to track the time on those sites. And if you want to change the number um, or say, hey, I don't want the site tracked, you can do so. All right, apply those settings. And then here's my view, right? In the last uh, whatever day, I have spent 54 uh, minutes in Drive and six minutes in Google. All right, so that then can help me track the time I'm actually spending. 
So that's it. That's an overview of how to set up and personalize your Waste No Time Google Chrome extension settings. Again, a great tool to help you uh, better manage your time on the computer to be a more effective worker. Good luck.